Welcome back, everybody. I am the Jimmer. This is the Battle Wagon Smash. This is going to be episode 46. We've got the CTRS Fast Lane by Mags taking on the Victory Fleet by Xander Zoo. It's going to be a good battle. We'll do a quick introduction and then get the fight right underway. Yeah, both these entries are really good. Um, this is the CTRS Fast Lane by Megs. Really nice looking design and uh, very effective. Looks like uh, a tank you'd see in like Command and Conquer or one of those type of games. Very, very nice. And that's going to be going up against the Victory Fleet by Xander Zoo. Also, uh, a nice looking design. I love the, uh, the desert camo. Has its uh, little uh, bomber ally here. And uh, the gun on this, the gun on the uh, Victory Fleet is incredible. But uh, let's go ahead and get this battle started. Go ahead and move the avatar out of the middle of the battlefield. And here we go, battle right underway. There you can see what I was saying, those shells coming from the Victory Fleet are uh, hot and fast. Oh, uh, looks like the shielding on the CTRS is holding up though. Look at the, look at all those shells getting bounced up into the air. Eating some missiles though. Both sides, um, damage. Actually the fast lanes 99%. Victory fleet down to 97%. Kinda hard to see. Is it shooting off its own nose? Or is that the uh, laser damage coming in? Yeah, I see I see the pieces coming off, but I don't see what's doing the damage. Oh, looks like the uh, the bomber going for a little strafing run there. Got some rounds into the back of the fast lane. I'm amazed both of these both of these entries 97%. And uh, they put out a lot of Naka. To still be uh, still have that much health um, a minute in is pretty incredible. I thought this would be over in seconds. Wasn't really sure who was going to come out on top, but I didn't think it was going to last more than 30 seconds. Oh, it looks like the uh, the fast lane in a little bit of trouble here. Looks like it is uh, slow to turn. Yeah, it's, it's trying to uh, get some distance and uh, not getting any uh, DACA returning the other way. It is ahead. It's at 97.7, where the Victory Fleet is at 96.7. Oh, bomber coming right in here. That is that is perfect. It's completely safe from taking damage, and it's getting its rounds um, right in uh, through the shields. Here we go. And the uh, the fast lane turning back around. Oh, that's what it is. That white laser. The uh, the white laser is really hard to see, but that's what's stripping all of the blocks off of the victory fleet. That yeah, sort of blends in with the uh, smoke trails and the uh, shell trails. But yeah, you can see just slowly stripping um, all the blocks off of the uh, the Victory Fleet here. Oh, Victory Fleet's main gun is hung up. Now, now it is the one that is out of position and getting flanked. What a, what a fantastic battle. Alright, both sides. Looks like both sides turned around now gonna have another joust. The bomber just going to town on the victory fleet over there. It has the uh, the perfect uh, positioning. Some massive missiles here. Like 10 block missiles, just absolutely huge. And yeah, the lamb's taking them out. Oh, one of them made it through though, but just not doing anything. Yeah, frags, frags against uh, Heavy armor, not not the best, uh, not the best weapon for that. That uh, the heavy armor class just completely negates frag damage for the most part. I'm surprised, still even saying that, I'm surprised how well the uh, the fast lane able to tank that damage. <laughs> Look at this little bomber just <laughs> hanging out just right behind the uh, the fast lane, just pumping out uh, rounds right into the back of its uh, shells, taking out some of the uh, track there. Oh, getting very close. We might actually have a ram here. The fast lane does have a uh, row of rams across the front, so we could potentially um, do some damage. It might even get underneath the main gun. I'm not sure if the main gun on the Victory Fleet can uh, decline 
that low if the uh, the fast lane is able to completely close the distance here. <laughs> what a furious, furious battle. It's fantastic. It looks like both sides are going to turn away and uh, we'll have another jousting run. Ooh, huge explosion there. Not sure what that was. Oh, and there we go. Finally, the uh, the bomber taken out. Oh, no. And a huge explosion on the victory fleet. Is that that main cannon? I think it is. Oh, that might be it. Wow. Powerful, powerful explosions there. Victory fleet all the way down to 75%. Yeah, it lost its main gun. Looks like it may uh, just continue self-destructing here. Still has the missiles and this rear turret, but losing a huge amount of its hit points. <laughs> the bomber survives getting launched way up in the air, but uh, looks like its rate of fire has slowed quite a bit. Fast lane down to 94%, but uh, doesn't seem all that damaged. Looks like mostly just... Uh, armor block stripped off the outside and yeah look at that laser go doesn't look like the uh, little individual laser pulses are all that strong but uh, really rapid fire and uh, just able to make like knife cuts it's like almost surgical knife cuts just right into the inside of the victory fleet yeah it's just opening it's opening this victory fleet up like a uh, tin can Putting a slice all the way through the side. Injecting some missiles right here into the inside. Sliced a hole with a laser and then the, uh, the missiles went right through it and just hang, hung out inside the uh, Victory Fleet. There we go, Victory Fleet once again moving. It was just sitting there for a long time. Maybe some critical component got repaired. But uh, it's pretty much out of this. It sounds 57%. Oh, I didn't even see the bomber get taken out there. And there we go, the uh, two damage on the victory fleet. So congratulations to Mags, CTRS Fastlane, uh, dominating another battle there you know, against a really, really strong opponent. I was expecting to see the uh, victory fleet uh, move back up to the um, primary bracket at the end here for the uh, the final two episodes. But uh, unfortunately getting taken out, condolences to Xander Zoo. Uh, really, really powerful design, really good looking, and uh, we're going to miss it here in the tournament. But uh, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. If you did, click that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next episode.